Hi everybody, Keith McGuire here. Mr. Hicks is behind the uh, camera and uh, he's the technical director and, and all the other things that uh, allows me to paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna, we're gonna work on a, um, uh, um, an autumn scene. Uh, we're gonna call this painting Autumn Color if you wanna find it uh, later. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the sky. I'm going to scooch up closer to my table. Well, before you do, yeah. <clears throat> did you take a picture of this already? I did. Or scan it? I did. Perfect. Yes. Which yeah. means that in the description, guys, is a link for you to download this pencil drawing. So if you want to transfer it onto some good uh, watercolor paper and follow along, you can do so. Or do it later and you can watch the video again and again and again. The more you watch it, the better it is for us. So yes. come on, 300 watches from one person. You can do it. And it's it's better for for you too. Yeah. yeah it really yeah, sinks it, in. Yeah, it'll it'll really sink in exactly. So, uh I'm going to start with um I'm going to start with the sky like I usually do. Um and I'm just going to go ahead and wet this area now. I don't want to get in here, okay? Where that's where my uh my fall fall colors are going to be or a lot of it anyway so i don't want blue going over or under yellows and and golds and stuff cuz that'll just you know turn everything to mud so i'm just going to try to you know wherever it belongs that's where i'm going to do it yeah, let's make myself more room where i'm on the page all right so right now I'm just uh, I'm wetting the uh, the background. I I'm wetting it because uh, the the paint will flow smoother. It'll it'll work better. Uh, this is just basically wet on wet. So I'm grabbing a little bit of since it's cooler cooler days. I think I'm grabbing a little bit of um, ultramarine blue. Trying to see how that's coming out. Um, let me hit it with a little more paint. Or by God, we'll get it. Yeah, so I like to have the little darker on top, obviously. As you come down to a horizons, they usually, unless you live in some really clean area, um, They usually haze down to a white. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of hitting the top of the painting here. And there are leaves up here too, but this will be a, a little darker and it'll probably be green just so, or, or a transition, just so that I have um, a little contrast between the two sets of trees here. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to hit this road real quick. I see I had a little little color left in there. But that's okay. I think so I'm going to use some. Pardon? Is is that a concrete road, an asphalt road? A no, it's it, it's probably uh, I, I forget the name of that. <clears throat> Starts with an M. Marble. No, <laughs> that'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, no, nah, I forget the name of it. It's a you know, it's that it's sort of like uh, in Florida, it's like dolomite. It's white. It's you know, but they don't have color in Florida. So I'm just putting the blue down. This is one of the colors I'm going to use to just kind of, rather than have like one color, I like to drop a couple different colors in. So right now that's blue. And I'm going to go ahead, take a little bit of, uh, yeah, that one, burnt sienna. And I'm just going to lightly kind of go over that while it's still wet. And let it kind of do its thing. 
kind of bleed into each other just just so it doesn't have such a a one color thing you know because that that gets that gets old um so Quick. can we pull an audible and now that's a river instead of a, a road <laughs> yes yes let me get a canoe uh yeah I'll, I'll i'll put a canoe on the side there you'll like it um so i've got a little bit of that brown a little bit of that blue in there i'm gonna favor a little more brown up here there's gonna be dead dead leaves and stuff on the side there so probably work better with the browns mr and mrs brown all right of any town usa all right and then the last color i'm going to use is no 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 is violet and i don't think this tray has one so i'm going to make one real quick uh i use magenta and uh, uh ultramarine blue i mix it up and look at that get myself a what i want is a very a violet a very red violet not not too not too blue uh, just a little oh see and then he overdoes it so he's got to go back to the red again. All right. So anyway, I don't want to use a lot, but it's just another kind of, it's kind of a gray purple when I'm finished with it. And like I said, it's just another color that isn't going to be quite so. Eh. Now I notice you're trying to, you're, it looks like you're trying to stay within the contours of the road instead of just going willy nilly. Right, right, exactly. I want that to look like it's getting smaller and going around the curve. If you start, you know, if you don't kind of follow that, now you don't need real, you don't want it to be real fat with the brush in the back. You want it to be a little bit, you know, a little thinner if you're doing little lines and stuff. So kind of, Get it to turn but as you can see it's pretty wet it's all kind of blending just the way i wanted <laughs> anyway and purple is nice too because it, it kind of gives it a feeling that you know there are going to be trees above us so there's going to be a little bit of shadowing going on too so i think that violet will help a little bit in in creating that also so i'm checking over here this is all wet, wet, running out of places I can hide. Um, huh? Now you can paint that uh, stick that's coming out of the ground, that post. This one right here? Yeah. Yep. It's the last dry area. All right. I would love to, if I flipped it over, I know everybody throws up, but if I flip it over, I could work over there. But I, I think I want to try doing it upright. I think it's easier to kind of understand what's going on. All right, I got to find my, I have two color, ah, this has got to be it. I was looking for my indigo. I have another color called Davies Gray. And I am not a fan. So I do, I've got the indigo. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to rinse my brush. I am, I'm going to wet this little post. I guess I could do the trees too if I wanted, but now the post is in the way. What? I keep telling you, learn to paint with both hands and this would yeah. solve all kinds of trouble. No. So I've, I've thrown a little indigo on there and it's still looking mighty wet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do a little more. Meanwhile, I have an idea well, I've got that wet and with a little bit of color on it. I'm thinking I'm dropping a little water. In here, because I don't want it to all kind of be a nice flat thing when it's done. Yeah, that's kind of doing what I want it to do. All right. Yeah, now it looks like a hill. <laughs> Excuse me while I correct my visions. There we go. 
All right, so now I'm going to grab, going back to this little post, I'm going to grab, uh, once again, I like the Burnt Sienna and Indigo Combo for, uh, for woods and stuff. And also, what happens is when you get to smaller things, use a smaller brush. That's what I'm having trouble with. I'm realizing I'm using that giant brush. And it's kind of hard to just fills it with water. And then you got to sit around for 20 minutes. All right. But I swear, as soon as someone invents the paper towel. Ooh, that's a good idea. I know it's a concept I've been thinking about. Just how do you market it to people? They're like, it's we paper. have hand towels. Why would I buy a towel that I throw away every time? That seems like yeah. waste. It's paper and it's a towel. Yeah. No. How, abs how absorbent can that be? Yeah, it's, it's, all right. It's, it's something. Well, I remember in the olden days, we had leaves. And we liked them. And we didn't complain. About the sticks and bugs. All right. So I can't go much farther. It, it'll just keep blending in. So I kind of like that I've got some nice streaks in there and a couple of shadows started. So again, I'm going to move on. And since I'm right next to that uh, tree, I'm going to grab my slightly larger brush again. And this time, I am going to not wet the paper. Because what I'm going to try to do is create texture using the side of my brush, dragging it along the, uh, the surface of the paper, just so I can get some light, a little bit of texture. I'll be adding more to this, but um, the printer paper that I watercolor on doesn't do that effect. <laughs> You have to have some tooth. Now, if you use like one of those fan brushes or like a brush made for dry brushing, would that work on with watercolors? Well, all brushes, you know, can dry brush. But yeah, if you have flats, I just like sharp pointy brushes. I don't like having a thousand brushes either. So I just use a brush any which way I can to make it work, okay? But I've also gotten some cool techniques over time by, you know. Well, we're never going to get that brush sponsorship if you keep only using two different styles. It's actually one. <laughs> you need to you need to pull out your your case of a thousand brushes so we can try yeah. and hawk every single one of them. Oh, if you're not painting with the J hook brush, are you even yeah. painting? Are you? How can you do leaves? So what I'm doing now is it's damp, okay? And uh, I'm just dragging some of these, dragging some lines in here. I'm using a little bit of the burnt sienna and indigo again. And as you can see, I dragged it through here and look, it got all, it spread. It's because it's still wet in there. That's how you get the these neat kind of trunk textures. Okay. Okay. Those sure are neat. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to, there you go. 
Where's the big knot where the woodpecker comes out of and goes, ha, 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 ha. That's, uh, that's patented, I think. Wait, that might be over with by now, right? Yeah, well, let's see. Woody Woodpecker would have been in the 30s for sure, right? Originally. I'm, I'm, wow, I'm not sure, actually. Let me see. But... Yeah, he was, God, I remember when I was a kid, there was the Woody Woodpecker show on TV, and Walter Lance would show you how to draw things. He was my hero, you know? Mm -hmm. There weren't too many artists out there. There was a guy with a funny hat. 1940. Played, what? 1940. So how long does it take before you're... It's supposed to be 75 years. Can you re-up your subscription? I mean, how is Mickey getting away with it? So the, the trick that they found is uh, one, so the the concept of Mickey Mouse, Mickey, I mean, take a breath so I can compose my thoughts properly here. Mickey Mouse is the reason it is for so long, because Walt Disney Company has fought every time that he becomes potentially open for public yeah. domain again and goes, this would cripple our company, our billion-dollar company that supports and employs millions of people across the globe. Uh, if, if you These allow... Many yeah. Marvel so, Yeah, so they... Uh, they kept extending it just because of Disney. And I think one of the uh, the later amendments is actually called like the Disney clause or some stuff. But uh, so if I you're still swear... using it, is that what it is? If you're still using it, it you kind of get to keep it? No. Uh, what happens is they've extended the length that you could protect, say, the name, right? Mickey Mouse, the name is still protected very heavily. Okay. Uh, but what happens is the design becomes public domain still after a while, but it's always the oldest version, right? Um, okay. So, like, in theory, you should be able to use Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse, draw him and use him in any uh, way you want, but you can't put the name Mickey Mouse next to it. You can't call him Mickey Mouse because that name is heavily protected. Right. Uh, okay. And if you venture anywhere outside of the very strict 1938 or 18 or whatever the hell his original date is, um, <laughs> uh, they will come and get you. Uh, it's, it's the reason they also update the characters every so many years. And you're like, well, what happened to that 80s style? Well, it's falling into a... They're trying to make sure they always have a continuous variation that will be protective. You know, basically derivatives of their own character that can get protected again and again and again. Wow. Uh, DC and them are... It's the same thing with Superman. Uh, I've yeah. had this conversation a lot lately because somebody in my WhatNot community uh, made a parody comic book and they use popular characters and they usually make like it's super Mario, but she's a hot girl in a bikini. Okay. Uh, 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 Disney's not, or Nintendo's not going to get too mad over that. Cause it's not their character at that point. Right. It's uh, just a parody. Yeah. Well, she chose and did one of lady death, which is a pale goth looking lady in a black leather bikini with a big sword or sickle, uh, depending on who's drawing her that day. Huh. And it looks very close to the standard version in the comic books. Well, the guy that created her and owns the copyright had a fit and he, you know, bashed her all over the Internet. And everybody's like, oh, my gosh, that's so crazy. And I stopped and I said, you guys don't seem to realize something. Do you know why he took it to the Internet and bashed her? And they're like, no, why? I said, because he doesn't have a leg to stand on if he tried to sue her. Because ah. <laughs> otherwise, he'd just go to the, the to court, and you know, right. because he's way bigger than she is. So one, he could afford the the court case, and two, if he could be reimbursed by any damages to really enforce that, he definitely would have. 
but I'm sure he saw it, went to his lawyers, and they went, well, she didn't put Lady Death on the thing, and you really can't trademark a pale goth girl in a leather bikini because it's been done a billion times, including yourself, right? Like, in the yeah, history okay. of his publications, and this is where DC has gotten themselves in trouble, why we can have Homelander and Omni-Man and all these... Uh, basically parallel versions of Superman in every other industry is because DC themselves did it. Uh, starting as far back as when they fought uh, Fawcett Comics and obtained the rights to Shazam or, Mr. or Captain Marvel, depending on what you want to call them, because they sued Fawcett Comics saying that Shazam was too close to Superman and it had... It had uh, encroached on their copyright and they won back then because there was nobody else doing it right okay now there's a hundred different characters that can be close and dc right? did it to themselves because they went well now we need supergirl superboy super fred george the super monkey uh super friends and then and then they they kept shazam they didn't get rid of him they kept him as one of their characters because he was selling really well so the court then goes well if you can do it, then so can everybody else. Ooh. So what happened is it comes down <laughs> to the only thing really protected in terms of the Superman character is the name okay. Superman, Clark Kent, you know, and okay. the, the S. That's what the, I was going to say. The S, right? I the S is that. Yep. that makes sense. And that's why they and they still they change it all the time because. You can't trademark every S. You can only trademark your S. Yes. So, okay. so what? How do you keep people from putting other S's on characters? You make a billion S characters of your own to cover a wide gamut. So if somebody gets close, you can be like, "They used our design." Oh no! <laughs> but then what's happening again is Superman, the old original 1938 Superman, is becoming public domain. Which means if you want to draw him with the original Simon and Schuster S, you'll You're be good. able to. But You're you better good. not put Superman on that cover. Gotcha. Because so, if it gets confused, because one of the rules of copyright is if it gets confused with a legit publication, and then they can argue that your sales confused the consumer or took away sales from them, you're right. screwed. That's um, what I'm thinking. Yeah. So, I mean, it's got to be you got to it's got to be fair to the publisher too. I mean, not just the well, yeah, but it was designed so that the publisher couldn't hold the monopoly on everything on the planet forever and ever and ever, right? Right, right. That that was the way it was designed, or why it was set up the way it is. They figured, you know, seventy five years that's that's most people's full lifetime, you know, at least as an I adult. When they started that, it was before. Uh, it was more than most people's lifetime. Yeah, and yeah, and when they started it, it, it originally it was something like ten years, and it became thirty, and then it became fifty, and then Disney got it to be seventy-five, and then, wow. like I said, and then there's still these different loopholes that, you know, your your trade dress design is, you know, the the copyright on the character design is different than the trademark on the name. The trademark on the name is yours as long as it stays in use in publication. So, right, okay, uh, yeah, wow. it's it's very. And, but and then there's still loopholes. Like I can draw Superman and make a a print of it. As again, as long as I don't put Superman on it, that I can have the S because it's a artistic interpretation and and it, it just happens to be really close to the other guys, right? Yeah, it, it's <laughs> yeah, it's so. And a lot of it comes down to whether they want to take the time to fight you. Now, right. like I said, he he knew at the end of the day he probably didn't have a leg to stand on in court because she didn't use any of the identifying elements that strictly say that this was. She could have just been like, well, I was inspired by him, but I it's it's a goth girl in a leather bikini. I didn't use his skulls or his, you know, because he's got his, his skull design that is yeah. Yeah, unique to him. Um okay. So, and in good faith, she said fine, and she supposedly tore up all the comics and, you know, to keep from getting backlash. But I would argue for him, 
that was the most attention his character has garnered in 20 years. <laughs> okay. She was very popular in the late 90s during the bad girl era of comics. And then uh, he still has a, a, a niche following. Like he does Kickstarters as his publication, like how he distributes oh. his books. Uh, and he's got his loyal fans. But outside of them, nobody ca seems to care because I watch people try to sell Lady Death comics on whatnot. And they can't get a buck for them. People are just like, no, Sweet. no interest. Yeah, that's that's done. That's so, yeah, so she probably made more money on whatnot than he ever did with the character and <laughs> got butt hurt. Uh, but if he was smart, I would have just tried to turn that into. I'd have been like, look, give me Let's collaborate. Yeah, and... give me a give me a percentage of your sales yeah. off that book, and then don't do it again. But in the meantime. You know, but he's also got a safe face because he doesn't need a million people thinking they can draw Lady Death or somebody similar. But or it might get popular again. Well, yeah, right? but but that's just it. But if people understood the law, because uh, it's yeah, it's something that's done a lot, and he really didn't have a foot to stand on other than hoping that he could bully her, and he did. And it worked. Right. Yep. So what I've got here, I don't know if you've been watching. Um, I've been just. You know, there's a lot of water and and paint. And what I've been doing is just, you know, I'm just dragging lines down and where it's wet. You can kind of see where it spreads out a little bit, gets darker. But I'm, I'm making all this, um, what do you, what would you call it? Um, textures, real knotty textures, okay? So, but at this point, I'm going to let that dry up because it, staying wet, it just I can't seem to finish the tree either you know i can't get to the shadows i can't get to so we're gonna let that harden up a little bit and uh i think at this point what i would like to do is introduce some of the color uh, uh the fall scenery color now okay because this is dry and uh and now this is where i can't you know put my arm but uh truth be told i'm gonna go for it anyway um so I am going to very quickly, I don't know, yes, hang on. Let's see, reaches into his bag of tricks. Felix the cat. All right, there's one, Felix the cat. All right. So I'm just going to clean my tray real quick because this is a whole different batch of colors. And... I don't want any mixing. All right, so let's make sure this is clean. I'm going to start pulling out some colors. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. But I've got sort of like a lemon yellow. I'm going to pull out some... Uh, God, it's almost like New Gamboge. I don't know if it is for sure. It's definitely some kind of um, orangey yellow. And then I'm going to also pull out some Cad Red. I think it's Cad Red Medium. But I just want to get them out because I want to kind of... I'm going to wet this area. And I will be getting... Le we will be getting to leaves and things, but honestly... What I really want to do is see if we can get this color to just kind of a nice blend of different colors. Because that's what I, when I see fall, I, it, it always freaks me out when I'm doing these things, is there's just so many colors all, you know, stuck together. Uh, I think it's okay when you're doing acrylics or oils. But with watercolors, it gets a little weird, you know, so because everything kind of wants to move on, you know, into each other. So anyway. So I like to start, I'm going to bring this right up to those three bushes will be, or trees will be in the foreground more. So this is kind of wet up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start with the lightest color, the yellow. And I'm going to kind of push some of that in. Oh, here and there. And 
at that point. Again, same thing. I'm just going to add this orangey color. That's amazing, Keith. Wow, you add color better than anybody I know. I've never seen anything like that. It's uh, truly, truly beautiful. Anyway, um, this is just kind of getting it going, obviously. I'm going to mix a little more of that brighter yellow and get towards the top of these trees. Now, there is a line of darker green leaves going to go across there. Okay. You can see the lines. That's obviously where my trees are going to go. My, uh, what do you call them? Your trunks. And... Thank you. Why? I can't remember that name to save my life. It, it's stupid. But it's like fence posts and uh, uh, tree trunks disappear it's called sometimes disease oh, I love that disease it's my favorite <laughs> so as you can see it's drying but as it's drying I just keep adding and hopefully varying enough So it'll look like, you know, a bunch of different leaves, a bunch of different colors. So I'm introducing uh, a little bit of the cat in now. And what I like for some reason, where all the other colors seem to be shiny and wet, and you can't see through it while I'm doing it, this color seems to be doing just fine, these yellows and golds. Amazing. So good. It's also getting dry. I can <laughs> I just realized that too. Wait, it's not moving anymore either. So I'm coming in over here behind these trees over here. adding a little bit of water to keep it moving but I don't want it to move too much I want them to you know I don't want them to all blend together is what I'm afraid of yeah not terrified not terrified but merely afraid of no it's the yellow no oh, so what will happen what is happening is as I add these colors, I'm going to be um, kind of shadowing some of it where I know it's going to be darker. But right now, I'm still just trying to make pretty, pretty trees. <laughs> need to get out more often, I think. Now nah, there's so it, bugs out there. Yeah, but it's it's the right time right now in Michigan, I'll tell you. It is pretty. You know, we'll yeah, tell you all, we'll tell you all about it. Don't come. No, yeah. I'm kidding. It's pure Michigan. It's just after this year how everybody else had bad weather except Michigan. I'm afraid everybody's going to move here. And live next instead of living next to the ocean that has hurricanes and stuff. Well, they can move here because I want to sell my house and buy something nice somewhere else. So no, that's true. You you want to go where it's you want to go where it's warm. I want to uh, go he, where there's no trees. <laughs> well, it's them big green uh, green green people with tall skinny green people that are always waving the wacky waving arm guy people 
No, I was talking about those uh, giant uh, cacti. Oh, yeah. I don't mind those. I don't want palm trees either. Especially not where we want to go, because I heard the, we, the, the lady that showed us around for uh, real estate in Arizona, we were like, oh, look at those lovely palm trees. And she's like, her husband's a fire uh, chief. Uh -huh. And she's like, those things are a pain in the butt to maintain. You definitely don't want those because they, the husks and that dry out on the tree. And if you don't go up there and cut them down periodically. Uh, Great they, little fire starters, right? Yeah. She's like, they're basically giant sparklers. Yes. Know, yes. They catch a, something and they just go up and you've got, you know, the whole neighborhood burning. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I'm good on that. I can I can do the cactus. Yep. Right, I'll be right back. You're leaving? Yep, I need another cup of coffee. Oh, you dog. You He's not getting paid as much now. All the thousands of dollars that I pay him. Yeah. We'll just keep that our little secret. All right. So at this point, I got kind of a nice, fun, uh, fiery forest. Looks like it's burning very well now. <laughs> and I do want to put in some other colors, and we will. But right now, this is just my base kind of base coat of bright and happy yellows. And then uh, under here, this is kind of the side of the road, a little bit of a uh, little bit of ground over here. And I haven't decided if it's all just going to be tree litter or if I'm going to do anything else. So I think I'll just wait. All right. So I'm going to let that dry. So right now we're doing pretty good. Um, at this point, I think what I would like to do is kind of get in here, and get some of this ground painted, get some of the background back there so we can see it. I don't usually go big like this in the dark right away, but the nice thing about doing maybe doing a little bit of dark right away is you've got your value then kind of set um because you got to work from dark to light right so a lot of times you'll do something and it'll be a little on the light side once you start putting your darks in you're going oh half my color faded so what you want to do is to maybe get a little of that dark in there so you can go oh okay now i know my values are pretty good and i can look at this and go yeah this is strong enough i'm i'm pretty happy so at this point, what I want to do is I'm just going to kind of come in back here and um, and just hit some of this landscape. It's still green. It's not winter, you know. So um, I'm going to add a little, uh, what am I going to add? Something good. Mmm, sap green. It's delicious. All right. So once again... I am not going to wet it. I'm just going to paint. So you have returned, Dr. Yeah, Joe. I think you're much more entertaining without me. I should just tune out. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's when I get all nervous and, 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 and Twitter-pated. I don't think that's a word. It is a word. I saw it on some show. Sure, it might have been a cartoon, but it's not the point. So, all right, so here I go. I'm just going to drag some of this happy sap green in the foreground here. Uh, won't make a scene. All right. So actually, I was going to do that and surprise you. I was going to make a little video, like a 10-minute a one. Of what? 
Um, you singing? Yeah. Oh, I had to paint? <laughs> Fine. Never mind. Forget it. All right. Um, you know, they say never work with kids or pets because yeah. they're a pain in the butt. They forgot to add senior citizens. We're getting there soon. The boomer name, the boomer product. What are you? You're kind of, are you like tail end? No, you're, what are you? I'm the Gen end of Generation X. Gen X. Are you guys still alive? Yeah, we're the money generation right now. Oh, good. Because I was going to hit you up after this. Uh... But yeah, I, uh. My generation is uh, trying to take all our money with us and half the environment. So when you're all burning in hell, we'll all be dead. So it'll be fine. Yay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the Pepsi generation here. We're... We're kind of hanging in there. <laughs> the Pepsi generation, that's funny. Hey, I remember all the commercials, dude. That was my thing. I loved commercials. Well, it's because they actually used to be entertaining. Well, no, I mean, it was kind of funny. This guy came to the house one day, says, uh, I'm a... Uh, you know, I'm uh, what are they, uh, a surveyor? Mm -hmm. Okay, of um, he says for uh, you know for an advertising company in the area, and we really want to know what what um, products are are hitting people. You know, and and I go, yeah, oh hell yeah, I'll try it. You know, so he, he gives me all these. Uh, and it was sort of like, um, you know, um, they'd give you one word, then you had to fill it in, and then you knew what the product was. Mm -hmm. And I got 100% right, 100%. The guy's going, what's going on, you know? And I said, I watch a lot of television, you know? He goes, no, no, you, what's going on? He goes, I said, okay, I want to be a commercial artist. And he takes it down and he just wrinkles it up. Thanks a lot, buddy. And I said, yeah, what? Well, thank you for letting me take that little test because I thought that was fun, you know? <laughs> it was, but yeah, I screwed his, uh, I was not supposed to be in that. Uh... The one that, that got him was, uh, there used to be a Datsun, before it was Nissan, it was Datsun, and the slogan was Datsun saves, okay? okay? And yeah, it said blank saves. And I go, Datsun, and he goes, nobody's gotten that one, you know? And I'm like, I know, I know, I know all these things, you know? So anyway, I was happy to see, I went to Detroit a couple weekends ago, and uh, I still saw uh, Campbell Ewald. Yeah. They're still, they got a big building. Um, they must be doing all right. They're, uh, they've got offices inside of Ford Field, too. What? Yep. How do you do that? Pay a lot of money. Probably. I would think so. Wow. Wow. I didn't picture. Yeah, I guess it would be nice to have a box sitting there and you just kind of yeah they don't have a ask your client to yeah they didn't tell us if they had uh, uh, access to I'm sure they do they probably have season seats or a box in there too but like the offices because there's a lot of companies that are inside Ford Field but oh. they have an obstructed view they can't see the game from like their offices okay so Cause it's like the offices, then there's the walkway and then like the restaurants and bars and stuff and then the field. So they are kind of secluded in that sense. But, yeah. uh, but if you've got seats or something, you just walk out and go to your spot too. It's interesting. 
I, I'm thinking we should start something. No, wait, you want to do that in Arizona. I don't know what I want anymore. I'm really? So con- I'm so confused. You, you left for five minutes and now you want to, now you, you're not sure about Arizona anymore. Oh, no, I want Arizona, but everything oh. else I'm putting into question. So, <laughs> existential life This crisis. relationship, uh, yes, I understand. All right. So, I'm just trying to be a hundred air, make all the hundreds of dollars. Oh, man. How do you do? I'm an artist. We're, we don't ever plan on that happening. So, until we're dead. And then you can't spend it. Mm. But your lovely widow or your lovely children. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right. So road, a little bit of green. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Um, Not sure where exactly... I want to go next. Where we're I going, think, there are no roads. Yeah, I think I'm going to come across with the darker green across the top there. This will be kind of like a shadowed area when I'm finished. That's why this is so dark, too. You know, we want it to be uh, here, here. Not cover the whole thing with my hand. This should be dark right here, right there. So anyway, so we're, I'm going to come across right now. And I'm just curious, how long have we been at this? Uh, I have no clue. It's not like it gives a timer or anything. Well, there is a point where I think four-hour videos are... are <laughs> and, oh, oh, I got a little piece of land back there that's so far back. Uh, I need a little bit of... Just uh, maybe a wash. Uh, that is not a wash. <laughs> Just a light touch. I'll try again. All right. Yeah. So back here, it's like I have one more. It's and the color is not as strong. It's it's grayish because it's getting farther back now. And it's over here, and I'm going to stop there. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh oh. Yes, trees, trees too. Okay. So I'm just going to get that code in. It'll need a, a little more detail, but for right now, not much. For right now, I just want to get it in there, pull some of that color out. And ta-da, oops. Just wet that real quick and dab. Ta-da. Good right. save. So proud of you. Thank man. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. We're gonna start um, we're gonna start the, the stuff on top now. So I'm gonna wet right along the top. I'm gonna come across. But I don't want to come down too far into the into the sky. I'm going to pull that stuff down from the top. Amazing. All right. Hope this works. Me too. Yeah. Hate Real starting. Awkward. We've scrubbed everything off here now. Trying again. So, like I said, all I'm doing is I'm trying to hit it with good chunk of color. I guess it would go up in there a little bit. And let's see if I can get this going now. So I think what I'm trying to do, I want to see air. Between some of these leaves and things. So that's why, as you can see, I'm kind of making blobs yeah that's mm. it so there there are blobs coming down into the sky 
we have seen this on uh, on uh, what's that show? Aliens. Uh, they come out of the sky too, and they stand there. All right. How fun. All right. Look, Mark, I can entertain myself for hours. Whoa. We don't need to hear about how you entertain yourself. Yeah, I, I, okay. Let it go. I have been very diligent on this painting. Don't and it be... shows. We're very grateful. Well, we don't want to be taken away from SCC or we have some special rating now. E for um, everyone. Uh, uncomfortable watercolors. Rated R. All right. I can see I have a nice chunk of my hair in the paint. I'm usually pretty good about that. I, I try to spray it down real hard so it'll, it'll stay hmm. on my head. All right. So... I've got my green in. I'm going to try something. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to pull it right back out. But I want to try to see if I can get a little bit of the orange kind of pushing into it a little bit, forcing, forcing some of the green aside. Yeah. I am looking at the uh, I think we're going to cut this off after about an hour, mister. What's your name again? Jones. Yeah. And it's Mr. Dr. Jones. Mr. Mark. Mr. Mark. And that yellow that I put in, it, that ain't going to be the end of it there. That, it's just a... I'm just trying to get a little different color in there, too. The, a little more of the changing a little bit. So, but I can't do anything while it's really wet like this. I have to let it dry, and then I'll put some uh, darker leaves over top, and you'll be surprised how pretty that turns out. According to me, Keith McGuire. All right. Um, I am thinking at this point, I kind of want to stop. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's your rodeo. Yeah, I think it's been an hour, and I, I, I don't, you know, they had to listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> They had to watch us, you know. I say we give them a break, and uh, and we'll be back on the next uh, video to finish this up. We will finish it up on the second one. All okay? right, guys. Yep. Do us a favor. Check the description. There's links to uh, some of the materials used. There's links to other paintings that we've got drawings for that you can download and use to as a starting point for your own paintings. And as always, we thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you. All right, you take care, and uh, we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh, that's trippy. Look at the shadows on my face. Yeah, that's amazing. Let's paint it. <gasps> Not your face. Oh. I mean, okay, let it go. All right, bye.